Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my review of Tunnel Rat Issue 2, an absolutely fantastic indie comic that, as far as I can tell, everyone is sleeping on. Uh, but before we get to that, Jawbreakers Grand Bazaar, Spendables Go to Hell. Uh, oh, so today is my day. I'm doing the one thing a day, one major thing a day. So that's to final, you know, final checks on the lettering uh, for this. And then uh, Pandemic Comic Book, and this is the new one, Do As You're Told, The Ballad of No. This is, uh, me and Kelsey Shannon kind of just snuck this one out there during all the uh, the craziness of the last uh, month or so. So it's about all that stuff. I describe it, it's kind of in that, you know, the Joker from last year mixed with Falling Down. Um, that that pretty much, you know, describes the, the tone of it. So I think you're going to like that a lot. So anyway... I went to, you know, I'm I'm all about comicsology now. Yeah, I like dogs. I like I like uh, digital comics. I don't like pickles. Oh man, I really stepped in the other day. I started talking shit about pickles, and then I found out that I have an audience of like eighty five percent of y'all are like crazy for pickles. They're like, try the butter. Ah, I can't even say it out loud. Butter bread. <coughs> butter bread pickles. Ugh. Ah, oh Jesus! Okay, so let's just move on. I'm not going to be able to talk about that subject. So this is a uh, Vietnam allegorical war story. It has elements of fantasy or perhaps delusion, hallucination, and it worked for me so so well. So I I tend to like things with kind of military aspects, but I tend to not like realistic portrayals of war because in being realistic they end up being not realistic if does that make sense uh they kind of get bogged down in you know let's call everyone the right uh rank and let's uh have the correct uniforms and that's not what i remember about being in the military and being in war it's it's very much an ensemble piece uh, with a lot of really stupid, shitty comedy. War is like a Kevin Smith film. Um, so whenever, and then whenever people get like super serious, you're like, war, man, nobody, nobody talks like that in war. People are just, they're, 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 they're tired. They want to change their socks. There's a lot of changing socks. There's changing socks in here. Um, but it's more about the feeling of being in a combat unit, you know, being deployed. Uh, and so this captures it quite well. It's by these two guys, Matt Durand and Earl Womack. I know nothing about them, but I think they they sound like country rappers to me. That sounds like country rapper names. Um, gets this really nice, uh, you know, uh, graphics right here. And uh, I jumped in, but apparently there's this guy named Schmeer. He's a cool guy. He's okay, and he's a uh, he's a tunnel rat. So you can, it's pretty self-explanatory. What a tunnel rat was in the Vietnam War, uh, you know. Uh, I think I think it was, you know, uh, Viet Cong and the NVA would have tunnel complexes for transporting, uh, you know, for popping out of all kinds of different reasons. You would have these underground complexes, and tunnel rats were usually the shorter soldiers uh, because some of these. Uh, I mean, this is an unnecessarily roomy uh, tunnel right here. They would just be. It was just whatever they needed. So they would go down there and, you know, it, it was uh, it was very tough because you just send, you know, one guy because uh, these things can collapse. They can be blown from inside. So it'd be like one guy, pistol, a flashlight and a knife. And um, so I've always found that aspect of Vietnam uh, fascinating. So he goes down there and he meets a snake. And the snake talks. <laughs> You always hear about this thing, like, uh, you know, the uh, elevator pitch for, like, movie scripts. If I was some, you know, you know, uh, uh, Griffin, what was it? Griffin Bell? Gr I just watched The Player by Robert Altman. Griffin something. Uh, and uh, that would get me. I was like, the snake talks? All right, I'm interested. Tell me more. So the snake talks. And first they're kind of talking shit. He's like, I'm a snake. I'm going to get you. But then, he, but then he's like, well, you know, I grew up in tunnels. I know how to work my way through tunnels. And the snake is like, oh, so I'm actually not good at that. I'm, I'm good at slithering around and killing people, but I'm not good at escaping. So they team up. The, uh, uh, the, basically, the snake says, I'm down here all the time. I know where the traps are. 
you say you know how to escape from tunnels, let's be a team. Um, so I'm going to skip around, you know, for the, uh, the copyright of these uh, indie creators, not show the entire thing. Uh, but w I will say that it comes off very, weirdly enough, a story with a talking snake seems more realistic for what it feels like to be in a war than the typical, you know, scenario. So there was a cave, or I think there was a missile strike. So there was a collapse of partial of this tunnel complex. There's two people supposedly in this. It sounds like an officer and then this uh, younger uh, main character. And so um, uh, it looks like the squad leader, you know, they, they go back to, you know, uh, get some more supplies, get some chow, get some water, and he wants to head back. And then it looks like the uh, company commander, maybe the battalion commander, is um, telling him, he's like, hey, uh, you know, good, initi good initiative, bad judgment. Like, n they're dead. They're dead. It's war. We're not going to send out more people to lose looking for them. It's over. You know, you just got to get used to it. The dialogue is very, very good. I looked up these two guys. It doesn't look like they've done much or maybe they're in different fields. You know, I'm guessing they both work in, you know, some sort of media. Um so the uh, the commander says, he says, you're green still. It's your first taste of action. You still have that optimism that this isn't reality. I can appreciate that. I remember what that was like. But that kind of thinking will get you killed faster than anything out here. He says, I'm requesting to go back out, sir. He said, no, can't risk more troops right now. Um, uh, so I will say one thing that I didn't think worked exactly uh, well is, is you can see he's doing this very impressionistic take on uh, soldiers um, but then you get what looks to me a referenced drawing of a uh, Jeep and it, this really stuck out to me uh, first of all I think the uh, perspective is a little off second of all I like this I like this brushy cartoony style like it it just lets you concentrate on the story you're like okay I get it it's it's war it's Vietnam and you're not getting bogged down and like wait that's not the shape of the you know official issued canteen in 1967 but this is like you know a fairly well done you know looking and i was like don't do that don't do that i just want these little stick m16s uh actually no this uh, they did this would have been like the two court so the deal about canteens is now we got camelbacks but back in the day you had canteens and the deal about a canteen is you're supposed to have it full and then drink all of it if it's full, it doesn't slosh. If it's empty, it doesn't slosh. But if it's half empty, it's slosh. And then we have these larger ones because sometimes you're going out, you can't resupply, so you would have the two quarts. Those were uh, soft. The good thing about that is you could actually squeeze it and squeeze the air out of it, so you could drink like partial of it. Got a little butt packed. It's it's hitting not all. You know, this is you know, or this is a marine. He's got a helmet. He's got you know, a freaking uniform. He's got a little uh, butt pack. And he's got his freaking backpack, two quart M16. That that's you know recognizable for a marine, and you don't have to get bogged down in all the details. So he's going in here, his freaking supply, ammo dump, changing his socks, doing all that you know, like I said, marine stuff. Um, and uh, so I love this. I absolutely loved it. I loved it to the to the extent that I looked up the people who did this. This is freaking fantastic. So it is at the highest level of being recommended. Uh, go check it out. It's Tunnel Rat. It's on Comixology. It's from this week, so it should be easy to find. Now, obviously, this is issue two. <laughs> I missed out on issue one. Oh, here's my other stuff. I like this Transformers Terminator. Um, but uh, isn't there a function to like see the rest of it? Whatever. Um, I'm actually just going to read... I didn't feel like I missed out on a lot, you know, missing the first issue. It was very understandable. The The kid said he, you know, he grew up in caves. So uh, I'm just, I just want to go forward. And then um, uh, after it finishes, I, I'll probably go back and read the first one. Although I might be bored. It, it was, it's, it's really, really cool. One thing I liked was this, like when they prepped the, you know, the conversion to comiXology, uh, I'll show the first page. So they made the color of the cover, you know, the bleed over here. Obviously, this is a bleed because we're trying to show the entire cover at once. I thought that was pretty slick. And you see it goes to it goes to black here. It's That's what it usually is when they're showing something. Um, 
and then you know it's white on the interior pages i thought that was really slick that they did this for the cover i like it a lot there's a there's a lot of good design sense and and thought in this uh and again you know then just like uh you know a quick impressionistic style on the uh art and i i freaking loved it so go check it out tunnel rat uh issue number two on comiXology and aw shucks why don't you also uh check out jawbreakers grand bazaar spendables go to hell pandemic and do as you're told the ballad of no anyway thanks for watching subscribe make sure you're still subscribed i'm gonna scroll through some of this art uh, uh can i do this can i scroll and do the end spiel subscribe make sure you're still subscribed hit the bell for notifications thanks to everyone given to the gofundme the patreon and the indiegogo you're funding original content and an original lawsuit links are in the description and i will have more uh, new comic reviews old comic reviews and comic book industry analysis up all this week. Thanks. Bye.